the mulberry. All right, so that did it. We're done cutting until you make your master board. So um, I'm gonna do a separate video on the master board when we get to that point. Or actually I'll link, I don't know how to link a video. Why would I say I would link a video? <laughs> I'm gonna put it on Kathy's hands or Teresa's hands. So, okay, so let me just tell you how a master board works. Okay, okay, so, okay. So let's just, I'm gonna just tell you how it's gonna work right now. I'm just gonna keep going with it. She does a whole lot better than me. All right, so here's your, here's your scrap paper. This is something that you don't like. And hand me your scraps. Too. All of it. Yep. Everything that went with it's with sweet memories. And so we're gonna start oh, by just and, and I do you, you care? Use solid pieces, did you? Uh, did I use solid pieces? Uh, no, I didn't use any okay. solid pieces except for like to make the little right. doodads. Oh, piece. And so you've got a couple of options. You can just willy nilly cut your paper in any direction that you want to cut them in. Some of mine I tore, some of them I cut. I really don't, I want, I want Teresa to be able to have fun with this, so I don't want to do too much of hers. But it's especially good when you have some smaller bits. So like if you don't mind just cutting, just cut all of these into smaller pieces. Like how small? Like, do you see how many different pieces of colors I have mixed up? Uh -oh. So just like, you don't even have to measure it, just start cutting. So I'm, I'm just gonna do it on this one just because I'm already here. So I'm gonna cut, and then I'm gonna cut one. Not even, I'm not even cutting it straight, it's at an angle. So this is a great way to use up some of those scraps. So we are going to, you know, and of course you want to choose your favorite patterns too, right? Like that's definitely a thing if you have a more favorite pattern, but you want to alternate your patterns too. So I'm going to go on and take some of this periwinkle and I'm just going to pop it in different places. Do we need all of this? Yeah, just... Okay. So, and then I'm just going to start putting paper down, and you can overlap it. I do my glue. I'm not going to finish doing it because I want you to be able to... I want you to be able to have fun doing some of this. <laughs> so you're doing it like, imagine Dolly Parton's coat of many colors, right? Like you're just using all these different patterns and you're just laying it all down all different directions. And then you can use some of your, you know, like your cardstock strips, your zip strips. You know, I mean, you can just use any kind of different thing, but we are gonna fill the whole thing up. So. Like I've got all of these colors, so now I feel like I need to ground this a little bit. So I'm gonna go on and use like maybe a little bit of this one that's cut at a funky angle. And maybe I'll, well, I need to cover up that yellow all the way, but I didn't smoosh that down all the way because I want to be able to tuck something else underneath of there if I need to. So let me just go on and do that. I'll tuck this yellow piece right under, or the blue piece right under there, because I need something to break up just a little bit, right? Like we don't want it to be all blue. And you want things to kind of be different. Um, yeah, I need some of that green. I need some green to flow in here. And I'm gonna do about half of this and I'm gonna let Teresa do the rest. Cause like I said, I want her to have some fun with it. Okay. 
And towards the end of this, you're going to find like you have a little weird dot in the middle that hasn't been done. And so that's when you're going to take like this piece and just overlap it. So you're going to fill this whole thing up with all your pattern paper. So I'm going to give this back to Teresa and I'm going to let her do that right now with all of her scraps. I'm going to pause the video. I hope it'll pause and not just stop. I hope it starts right back up. If not, you'll see me for video two. Yep, all of that's yours. Okay, so let's see, can I pause? Oh, it says pause, so we'll be right back. Okay, so Teresa has finished cutting hers. I mean, finished putting hers together. And Kathy has finished putting hers together. And let me just show you what this looks like. So, so again, just all the pieces filled in all of that Sundance paper. There's um, some hearts, just random willy-nilly. Did you want to add the stickers that I told you we didn't use? Oh, I thought you said we used them No, all. we did not. No, there's uh -huh. two stickers we didn't use. Um, yeah. So there are two stickers that we didn't use, and you can just put them any old where. There's one that says, uh, no place like home. So you didn't use that? I did not. Uh -huh. Well, I used that in this. Well, okay. I, I didn't use it on the other pages. I was thinking we used it. No, this is my, all right, sorry. Sorry, I lied to you. So no place like home. Like it doesn't matter. It doesn't ha all have to stay in the same direction either because we're going to be just cutting this willy-nilly. Yep. Okay. And then we didn't use the bless this home. So those are the two stickers that we didn't use. Mm -hmm. All right. So now here's what we're going to do. We're going to flip this over. It's part of the surprise. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn it. 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 And now we're going to cut it. Okay. So our first cut is going to be at three inches. No peaking. Okay. Three inches. Okay. All right. Oh, well. I'll have to fix that. Okay. Next cut is at two inches. have to go over it a couple times. Yeah. All right, next cut is three inches. All right, now turn that three inch piece this? short, yep, and cut it at three inches three times. I like your tattoo. That's Thank new. Thank you. Yep. Week yesterday. Ah. It's starting to peel. Still itchy? It's starting. Yeah, it just started itching and peel. You said three times? Yep. Yeah, and it's peeling. Okay. So now the big reveal. <laughs> so that's why I say everybody's is going to be different. So you'll have to just cut that little piece off. Okay, yeah. So there's the piece that's going on page seven right there. Which piece? The three, there's a three inch piece that's going on page seven. There's a two inch piece that's going on page eight. So seven and eight. These three, three of these squares, you can pick whichever three are your favorites. So three of these are gonna go on page eight. Okay. And then the last bit is what I used and cut three um, tags out of. So I'll cut okay. one large tag one large tag as, you know, just a cent, mm -hmm. just a, and then the two small tags to attach to okay. our pull-in pieces. So okay. they kind of go just like that. All right. Cool. So that's for that piece. All right. All right. See you later, Tina. Yeah. So, sure. kind of fun, right? Yeah. yeah. Kathy, do you like yours, how, how yours turned out? Huh? Okay. <laughs> all right. So that's that. So they are. So that's all our cutting. The last thing that we need to do is for pages one and two. And I'm not going to do it all again because I want Teresa to have the fun herself. Oh, thank you. Is we are going to, um, and actually I don't need the mat for this part because we're going to be inking these balloons. So these are really fun balloons. I'm not sure if these are still available 
if they're coming back. But what we did with these balloons is it's three levels of balloons. So you put your balloons down. And I'll do one page and let Teresa do the other page. Are you doing yours in pink, Teresa? Sure. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Yeah. So I need some blender brushes. Okay, so I'm going to start with, I'm going to start, I'm going to go on and put mine down so that the, so I just know which balloons are going where. Okay, so there, this is, this is a, um, anytime you have these stencils, I'm just going to give you a quick tip. Write on it, whether it's your initials, something that lets you know what is the top. So in this one, I wrote top left. On this one, I wrote top left. And on this one, I wrote top lifts left. Some people use their initials. Some people use like all kinds of different things. But whatever it is, you want to write on it once you figure out the layers. Because this is three layers. So you've got your balloon. You've got your dots for the balloon. And you've got your strings. And if you mix these up, have them backwards, sideways, whatever. There's a whole bunch of different ways you could do it. It is super confusing because now you have what? I don't even know how many different options you have. 12, it's more than 12 because you've got the twisty on each one that you can use. So what we're gonna do is go in and put the balloons now. Now if you have some tape or some washi, that's good. I'm gonna go in and center mine. Uh, yeah, you've got washi? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go in and we're gonna put some washi down just to keep this exactly where we want it. And I'm gonna go on and give Miss Kathy pages three and four so she can get started. And she's gonna love that. So that is just a matter of putting your squares down and figuring out how you like them. And then gluing them down. Okay, so we're gonna start with the lightest color, which is our pink. So I used Ballerina. So I'm going to start with Ballerina and use our little blender brush and we're just going to start getting that ink in those balloons. Now I've got that big piece of paper in the middle so I don't really have to really focus on the middle. So I need to make do the top and the bottom for sure. Need to re ink this baby soon. And it's funny because you don't think you're putting that much color in there, but once you lift that up, you really are getting a good amount of color in there. It just doesn't always look like it because the top of your stencil gets tinted. And I actually don't mind the ombre effect of how it might be a little pinker on the bottom than the top either. Mm -hmm. Like some of them are a little bit more ombre. I don't mind that either. So I'm not going to, because we're putting layers on top of layers, I'm not going to go super duper, duper heavy on this. Kathy, you want the tags? Sorry I didn't have those heart die cuts here. But I think we learned something cool and new. So Stampin' Up! has this product called a Stampin' Emboss or Die and Emboss. And it was an embossing folder with the die that fit in it. So that was really actually very cool. 
we just made embossed hearts. Okay, so we're gonna pull this up. I'm gonna take that washi off, and you can take your um, you can take your um, doo -doo -doo, help me with words um, your stamp chamois to clean the top of this off, which I haven't wet mine up yet. So, but I'll just leave that for Teresa because it says top left, so she's not gonna flip it over and get anything messy. Okay, so next we're gonna line this next one up. So I know I started kind of at the top right there. So I'm gonna line this one up. Now, not all of the balloons have lines in them. Okay, so I've lined that up. That looks really good. Oh, I know. That's what I should have told S. Mark to bring me a screwdriver. All right, so next we're going to go with the candy apple. And so with this one, we're just going to do all those little top pieces with that candy apple. So now I'm going to come up to the top. Remember, we don't really have to do that middle because the middle is going to be covered up. So it's just a lot of work to cover up. And um, I also like to just keep wiping, um, wiping this, wiping this with your brush because that brush is going to pick up some of that ink that's kind of messy on the top, and it will push it on down into those grooves. But that's going to take some of that ink off as well. All right, so now we've got our balloons decorated. If you want to do your page two, oh, you, want, you need all of your stuff, don't you? Uh, let me just do this last piece and then it is all you. If you want to start this, there's the pink and there's the pink. All right, so last we need is the string. So remember, I've got my top left up here. So I know this string, oh, wait. No. Nope. I think I'll wash off of this, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, that's not right. Top left. Oh, there it is. Okay, here is here it is. So remember where you were before. And get it about in that same spot. So what was throwing me is there's strings that are going off the page with no balloon. And I was trying to make those top strings go with it, but so you're right, you've got a string that goes right there to the right, making sure my string is fairly close to the bottom one. So getting that, getting my washi back on here on all my little corners. And now I'm gonna use honey butter just to give me a little bit of color on these strings. Now this one, because this stencil is up and down, I'm just using my um, brush up and down so it fills in there. If you go side to side, sometimes you can, like you, you might potentially bump your stencil and make it go sideways. Now 
and I can kind of, since I can see through, I can see where my balloons didn't get in the middle as much, so I know where I don't really need to do the strings either. So now I've got my strings and my honey butter. You ready for the reveal? There we go. Super cute. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so that is it for me. Um, if you are taking this class with me, then I should have already given you pictures of how all of these should go. And I've kind of gone through and showed you um, what all should be happening here. So again, got your white piece down first and then your stripes your black shimmer trim which we no longer sell um, and then you you are only doing your um, dovetailing on the longer pieces the shorter pieces are just square so your long pieces are getting dovetailed your short patterns are not you've got your happy birthday done three times we've got some leftover stickers we've got some leftover acrylic pieces I did use a party hat out of the Stampin' Thin Cut set. So the ladies here, if they want that, I'll dig that up. And then on the second page, same thing. You have your pink, then you have your stenciled piece. And this one I did the opposite. So I've got your pink that's not, your, your green that's not dovetailed with the green dovetailed in the center. And then I made a little uh, bottom here with, with those pieces. And I put that outline party with our two last, these are supposed to be candles, but I flipped them upside down to be exclamation points. And then our little cluster right here. Then it's my birthday, couple more stickers. And then again on this one, because I know I'm gonna use some flip flaps, I put some stickers on the top of birthday, on the top of my flip flaps. And so once I have that in there, I've got birthday girl and party animal. All right, Kathy has pages three and four. I'm gonna pull one out real quick and show you. So again, this is, this looking good is a part of, now this was, it's four inches, but it's longer than four inches on the photo. So you'll need a four by six and you'll just be having to cut some of it back off. Um, but the, you wanna start, now again, this one's gutted, so you wanna make sure that your white gets put on there. And then you're gonna wanna lay all your pieces out and get the patterns how you like them first. And the way I did it is I wanted to start, and I started with very light amount of adhesive because you're probably, let's be honest, gonna to need to pull it off and lay it back down. So once you have it in the patterns you wanna go, you're gonna measure in, let me see the measurement. I used my ruler and I measured up. Oh, mine's a little bit crooked. I measured up. three quarters of an inch and end three quarters of an inch. Yep, so in and up three quarters of an inch is where I put the first one. And then I made my first little line going across and then I made my line going up. And then I started filling in. Now again, you will want to just put your adhesive lightly because you might need to, as you start rolling through it, you might need to shift just a little bit to make sure you're keeping them straight there was one up in there, there was a teeny little gap, but I was putting stuff in it so it really didn't matter. And that's just from where like, if you cut directly on the line or if you cut a little left of the line or a little right of the line, all of your squares might be a skosh larger or smaller than that two inches. So once in a while that happens and then it's not gonna be perfect, perfectly line up. But like if you look really closely, I've got just a teeny little gap right there, but no one would ever notice that unless you're looking for it. Um, so then once you have it down, then you can really, you know, mash it down and make sure it stays. You do have some extra squares because I don't remember exactly what's underneath of some of these. Um, and then this title, I love you with my whole heart, ladies. I have some extras of these in a baggie somewhere around right when I was there. cutting them. I just kept cutting them more, right a few there. more. So I have some of those for the ladies that are here. 
And if I have extras, the, the die cuts I have here with me, and then pages, page four, <laughs> is the same thing. So that three quarters in. Now the difference is down here in these corners, I put those little half diamonds and then I folded these back and popped those up with a piece of foam tape. And then my three photos are, you know, offset with my smile down here and some more of those hearts. And then some of those gray dots. So a little bit of work to get them done, but I think it is a beautiful page once it is all done. All right, and then five and six, I showed you earlier in the video how we did the, the inking on this. On these pieces, I took my scissors and edged some of those pieces. So are you gonna edge yours? Are you gonna are you gonna edge your scissors? Oh, edge yeah, yours yeah, with yeah. scissors. Mm -hmm. Now borrow your scissors. So I'm just gonna show you what I did. Now these aren't these aren't close to my heart scissors. I'm cheating. Oh, no, I'm sorry. And that's okay. That's All right. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go on and do um, do a little bit of this. <clears throat> Why can't I ever dovetail? I'm gonna do this dovetail. So. I'm an eyeballer, and I think Teresa's an eyeballer too, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so she's not going to be too mad if I have it a skosh off. Nah. So I kind of eyeball in the center, and then I trim up, <clears throat> and then I go from corner into that cut that I just